geometry of the window itself. Uh, the easiest view to start out in would be the placement side view. So to first draw the frame of the window, you want to grab the solid form tool in the tool tray to the left at the bottom, click on it, and then choose solid extrusion. This brings you into a sketch mode. From here, I'll grab a tool option. In this case, I'll grab the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to draw out the edges, which will be the outside of the frame. I'll come back in and draw the inside of the frame. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the drawing tool. Now that I've laid out the edges, I want to align and lock them to the parameters so that they move with the frame. So I'm choosing the align tool. I'll select first the reference plane, and then I'll grab its edge. Uh, if you click on the padlock, it will lock the edge to the plane. And I'll do this for all the edges around the outside. Next, I want to do the same for the interior edges. So I'll grab the interior reference plane that's defining the, the top interior edge, grab its respective edge, and click on the padlock. And do this all the way around. Once you've aligned and locked all the edges you see in this view, click the Finish Sketch button. That will bring you out of the sketch mode. And then you'll want to go to the floor plan view and align and lock its depth. So going to the floor plans under reference level, I'll click on it to bring up its view. You can see the frame extrusion that it's been, that's created with an arbitrary depth. So I want to grab the align tool. First select the reference plane that's defining the frames back. And then hover and choose the um, frames back edge and lock. Next I'll choose the reference plane for the front and hover. And if you have to use the tab key to find the front edge of the extrusion, click on it and choose lock. You'll use the same process to create the glass for the window. So going back into the placement side view, I'm going to grab the solid form extrusion tool again, choose solid extrusion, brings you back into a sketch mode and draw out the edges of what will be the glass. Grab the align tool and align and lock its edges to the interior edges of the window frame. finish sketch. And this time I'll go back into the floor plan view and now align and lock the glass edges to its back reference plane and lock and the front glass edge and lock. Now that you've got the geometry for the window drawn out, aligned and locked to its reference planes, at this point you should flex the model to check to see that the parameters are working that you've created. So clicking on family types in the tool tray to the left, I'll just start changing some of these uh, parameters out to make sure that everything's working. And it is. Finally, after um, you've got all the geometry laid out for the window, while in the plan view, another tool you can add is a control arrow. This lets, the, lets you toggle the window and flip it back and forth from the exterior to the interior. Makes it a little easier to work with once it's loaded in the model. So grabbing the um, control tool and in the tool tray to the left, um, you can go to the option bar and see a few different options for you. I'm going to grab the double vertical lines um, and just click to place these. And you'll, you'll see what this does when you load it into the model. So if I click on a 3D view, uh, we can see what we've created. I'll revolve around. You can see that you can't see the window at all yet. That's because you need to create an, an opening that will cut a hole through the wall so that you can see the window you've created. To do that, go back to its placement side view. Double clicking on that, I want to grab the opening tool located in the tool tray to the left. Once I've done that, um, grab the rectangle tool uh, in the options bar above. And I'm just going to click and draw out the outside edges of this opening and align and lock it to the outside of the frame so that the opening moves with the size of the window. And once you've aligned and locked all of the edges, click Finish Sketch to get out of the sketch mode. And you'll notice that with the opening tool, uh, there's no need to align and lock its depth since an opening will just cut through the entire thickness of the wall. Now if I go back to a 3D view, you can see the window that you've created. If 
I click the rendering button to show uh, its materiality though, um, I'll click the little cube at the bottom of the screen and choose shading with edges. You can see that it's solid. To change that glass out to be transparent, uh, the easiest way to probably do this is to go back to a floor plan view so you can select the glass object. So I'm going to choose a floor plan view. Uh, zooming in, I'll select the glass object and change its material by right clicking on it and choose element properties at the bottom. This brings up its element properties windows where under the materials tab I can click uh, the radio button inside there um, and here I can change um, this object's material out. Um, using the tabs above um, I can um, change the material also. Once you have a material selected click OK and OK again. If I go back to the 3D view you can see now it's uh, transparent. You can also use the same process for uh, the Windows frame. Finally, you want to save your window component out and give it a name. And once you've saved it, um, you can load it into your project by choosing Load into Project at the bottom of the tool tray. And from here, if now if you choose the Window tool, you should be able to see your new window family you've created. You can zoom in and place your window. And you can click on that. Um, control arrow to toggle it and flip it back and forth uh, in your wall.